have a monkey in your pants? Hi right, folks, welcome back to another Retroplay ZX Spectrum video. This is the type of video where you get to see the beautiful art box and then some gameplay of the absolute classic Spectrum games at hand. And this time we've got NARC, arcade original game by Williams, released in 1990 on the Spectrum by Ocean Software. Um, there's also a Hit Squad version of this game, I am led to believe, but I never even knew that this game existed on the Spectrum until I got it in my collection. It was a game that um, I did originally play in the arcades. Oh no, it's an Orcs, man! Or something like that. And um, it was quite a fun arcade game, but I never ever played it on the Spectrum or knew it existed until I got this. But yeah, Art Box. It's, did the Narc men have like blue onesie things on? I do not remember that. I Tall, nice muscles. Mm hmm. Don't know who that is, but he's got a bit of pink eye. And I vaguely remember there being dogs. I'm not sure. I remember <laughs> this is one of the games that I remember. It says, Oh, there we go. I was going to say it came up the stars and winners don't uh, use drugs. It says it on the box as well. I remember it saying that on the arcade machine. What's that say? No one had the guts until now. Winners don't use drugs. There you go. Whoa, what's going on in the back there? Jesus Christ, that writing's impossible to read. I don't know how well you can read or can't read that. But it's got some sort of line pattern in the background over the writing. I'm not even going to try and read that. It will make me blind. And that looks like it could possibly be arcade graphics on the back there. Looks very, very similar. Um, yeah, very, very similar. If it's not... I don't know, it'd maybe be Amiga or something like that, but it's very, very similar. But it's quite um it's quite a nice box, like I say. I think it was also released Hit Squad, which would have been the smaller cassette. Open the box. There we go. Oh, it's an ocean game, so yes. We have an ocean baggy. Oh and we have beautiful pink. That's nice. We'll get back to that in a second. Ocean baggies in the previous video which was the or one of the previous videos, which is Robocop 2 which was a similar sort of style cardboard box, it also had an ocean baggy. Now I don't know about you, but I I had these games as a kid and I never ever remember seeing these ocean baggies in my life at all, at any point. Maybe, maybe I just threw the boxes away like whew, when I was a kid and just, but I don't remember doing that. And oh my god, can you see the size of that tape there? Put that behind it so you can see it. It is a big body. That's what that is. There you go, typical sort of black tape, nice ocean writing and narc at the bottom, nothing nothing fancy there apart from like all the cassette tape in the world inside there, but an ocean baggy. Oh really? I'd love to hear if if you had these games as a kid. Do you remember these? I do not remember ocean baggies, but anyway. We'll get back to the box because that's what we're here to see. Amstrad CPC <coughs> Filth. Commodore ugh, I just done a sick in my mouth. Spectrum. That's what we want to see, people. ZX Spectrum games. Is this this is um, it's interesting. Is it? Why did uh, also a lot of these games they never came as like typical books. They were always like poster type folded things, weird with lots of languages and the uh, controls. Oh my god, this is. Oh my god, it's like is it the Guardian newspaper that's huge? Anyway, I like the picture on the front of the man. He's a bit pink. I think it kind of suits him. Um, yep, yeah, it's just a load of instructions and yeah, for like everything. Dutch. Dutch? <laughs> German. Deutsch. Italiano. What else we got? Anything actually worth English? French. And English. Narc scenario. That's what it says there. That's what we want to see. Yup. says Narc. Now you have a chance to infiltrate the Mr. Big Corporation, okay. The scourge of the underworld. Out with the army of bodyguards, gangs of charisma bypass patients in trench coats. What? The bullet brain with the build of a rhinoceros and the breath of a dung beetle. Oh, Jesus, what? Packs of vicious canine yappies. Yappies? What? <laughs> the psychotic clown with the evil sense of humour. You'll die, but not laughing. Okay. But it's not all bad. You've got a mean, shiny street machine. Oh yeah, there's a car in this game. I do remember driving a car, red car, in the arcade version. Probably not red in the Spectrum. Ignore that comment about the red, because it won't be red. Some heavy metal hardware and pretty neat moves. Hit the enemy and finally come up against the baddest, the biggest, Mr. Big. 
and loading instructions. I want to have a look actually. Uh, to fire missiles, hold down the fire for a short time and then release it. Press fire with the joystick in the central position and quickly tap up when standing to jump. See, this is what we had to put up with back in the day. The limitations of having joysticks with one bloody fire button. I'll play it with the keyboard. Did I get a chance to play it with the keyboard? Oh, guess what? You still don't have a dedicated shooting missile or um, fire stroke jumpy button. Oh, 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 how do we fold this? Uh oh. Don't want to break it. There you go then, guys. That was a quick look at NARC. The box for NARC, I should say. What does that stand for, actually, NARC? Somebody tell me in the comments below. I could not be bothered to Google it. I'm being lazy. But yeah, we will. Is this the right way? Oh no. Oh Jesus, you can't put NARC in upside down. It's, it's not nice. There we go. But we will have a look at the gameplay and then um, see how well the arcade game translated over to the good old 8 bit spectrum. Hey guys, this is Narc on the ZX Spectrum. Is it Narc or is it N A R C? Oh my god, that music's a little bit excitable. I can tell it's a 128k version. Classic Williams arcade game that I did play quite a lot actually. Top Narcs in my early um, early to mid teenage years actually in, in one little arcade place that was in town. Funnily enough, um, it was one of these games you could put 10 pence. Was it was 10 pence or 20 pence. I can't remember what it was set to. And I could actually stay on it for ages because there was a. Um, you could basically just keep crouched and you would arrest loads and loads of people. And when you got to the end of the level, you get so many bonuses that I'm sure you got loads of extra lives, etc. And I'm talking a lot because right now I'm looking at the instructions to see what the keys are. M is fire. Why is M fire? Space should be fire. That is not the keys of champions. Hmm. How do we play this game? Let's head about in. A player one controls. Uh, keyboard controls. Okay. D. Oh, I can define the keys. There you go. Um. Yeah, let's define the key set because I don't like having a. Up, down, left, right. M. Oh, player one jump crouch. Oh crap! Bags never saw that. So I can't. What jump? I, what? I don't know how that works. Really? I'll change that and I'll, I'll come back to that. Hold on. Define key set, right. So we'll just go with the default then, will we? I never mentioned that weird jump crouch thing in the manual. Sort of half did, but not very well. Right, anyway, come on. Player one game. Let's go. Here we go. Oh, it's the body. Narc 2000 mobile scanner. Image matches Das Luff gang member. It's me pressing the buttons of my mobile scanner. Oh yeah, I remember him. Investigate pipeline hideout from the arcade machine. Loading mission one. Right, mission one. Okay, it's not there. How did I crouch? Oh, I get it. That is weird as hell. It's quite, it's, it's quite accurately represents. You have to sort of press that button, S press space, and then down, and you crouch. Right? Okay. Gonna get. Do these guys shoot you? Can you arrest them in this game? Yes, but you get nailed. That's the tactic I used to use in the arcade version. Was you basically just arrest everybody, like I said. It is actually quite accurate. Oh, I didn't mean to do that, but at least you can jump. You bummer. Oh my god, did he just waste me? Right. It makes sense to duck if these buggers are ducking all the time. Right, and you do get missiles. Oh, I've got ammo as well. It's not unlimited ammo. That's not beautiful. That's not beautiful. I don't know why I said beautiful. That's not uh, That's not very good. So, I have got rockets. 
How do I shoot a rocket? How do I shoot a rocket? Oh, there we go, rocket. Shot one there, but Jesus Christ, the rockets take ages to shoot. You basically keep your finger on the fire button. Right, I'm keeping ducked because that's the kind of weird tactics I also. Oh, I... did I shoot a rocket? I did there. I was just testing because I wasn't sure. Right, I want to try and arrest somebody. It's it's shooting rockets when I'm not actually wanting it to shoot rockets. But um, it's not bad actually. <laughs> Really, it isn't. It's quite an accurate representation of the arcade game. I'll give it that. Nice. In the pipeline, no smoking in the pipeline. It's quite slow, as you can tell by the. Or it could be slow because I've got no ammo. Yep, I think it's slow because I've got no ammo. Because I was shooting a lot quicker than this earlier on. How did I get ammo? There you go. I'm shooting quick again. Hey. Right. I just want to get to the end of the level. And I busted his ass. Right. Oh, did I die? No, I don't want to die. I want to get to the end of the level and see what, see what happens. You get like, let's say you do get cars and stuff in this. I was gonna say I don't remember having so many ammo issues in the arcade machine, but my god, it is chugging along a little bit, isn't it? But there's quite a few sprites of the screen, and you've got the scrolling. Could the Amstrad CPC do this kind of scrolling? No offence, Amstrad CPC lovers. I do not know. Oh, doggies! Jesus Christ, doggies! Was that the doggies barking? I shrunk the doggies, somehow. So you can't kill dogs, you can just shrink them. Shrink you. Thank you. Nice, nice, nice. I am going to have to do an arc a gameplay version of that. A gameplay of the arcade version, I should say. Right. Is this ammo? Because I could do with some ammo, I think. I wish the guys wouldn't duck. Because then I have to duck. That's the dog barking that noises, actually, I think. Come on, dogs. Safe. What does that do again? I can't. Is this just the end of the level? I'm not really sure what that was. Is that a checkpoint? I wonder. That's a two player game as well. Oh, doggy. What kind of dog are you? A two player game. Simultaneous. Oh, look at those nice little spectrum ladies in the background. Beautiful. I'm collecting drugs, I think, or is that ammo? Dog's biting my hoop. No, I don't want to be dead. Yes, continue. How do I continue? Yes. And I, come on, dog. Piss off. Do one. Woof, woof. Right. Come on, how am I supposed to shoot that? There you go. Got it before it even came on the screen. It takes ages to shoot that. Ages and ages, isn't it? Can I go on the exit? Can I just can I just bail? I can bail. So this this is if you've never seen, even seen the arcade game, you won't obviously know what the hell this is. Or even how it compares to the arcade game. But um yeah, that's quite a accurate ish representation of it in the gameplay of the arcade game, I'll say that much. I there's no music, but I don't know if there's music in the original arcade game, I can't remember. But to be fair, it's a spectrum, I necessarily, necessarily wouldn't expect music in this style of game. But the smoothing's quite reasonably smooth. I'm just pegging it. Mission, aim of the mid game is to get to the end of the level, I think. Oh, come on, I shot a rocket launcher. Quite a short level. I think I might have shot one there. That's <laughs> body parts went flying. Oh, level complete. Nice. Crack stop. Narc 2000 mobile scanner in operation. Dr. Spike, Rush, Chemist, and Pusher. Rush, is that the drugs? Must be the drugs in this game. It is, because he's got a bloody big needle. Bus time destroy secret drug lab. Loading mission two. Mission two. Same body. Oh, there's a different body. I was about to say they're the same bodies that was in um, the other one. Busted him. Right. Is this me or is it? Is it oh my god, he's, oh, he's throwing syringes at me. I remember those bad guys. Seems to play a lot faster with the white scrolling background as opposed to the blue. <laughs> Might just be my imagination. 
This guy's throwing needles. Oh no, he's trying to get me high. He's trying to get me off my tits, man. Right, I don't, I don't. Right, there's a jump, but really, what's the point? What's the point of the jump? Busted him. Nice. Dead or alive, you'll come with me. That's not even remotely the right game or franchise, is it? But anyway, it's quite. Um, it's what happened there? Oh, oh, he's drugging me. Oh, look at my head just nearly falling off when he drugs me for some reason. I shake my head in disbelief that he injected me with his drug. I wish there was a dedicated button for missiles. Because really, it takes way too long to shoot a missile. You have to keep your finger on it. Oh my god, these guys that are shooting the drugs at me are really fucking with my shit. Come on. It's, it is. I quite like this, actually. It's very playable. Imagine if you played the arcade game, right? And then you could play this on your little ZX Spectrum back in the day. You'd be amazed. You would. You really, really would. You might not look at it now thinking you would be amazed. I'll continue one more time. But, um, you would. Come on, die, die. Can I walk past it? I can't walk past behind it here. That's cool. Got the fucking needle throwing man at least. I'm just running or I'm crawling. Come on! No, 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 needle man! I shot your ass, I was gonna say. I'm just running along. Trying to shoot. Oh, I didn't even mean to do that. I was obviously pushing my fire button too close together. Nice, blew his ass up with my rocket launcher. Oh, come on. What the hell were those things bouncing? Come on, stop. Mm. I was going to say, what were those things bouncing about the screen? There's way too many of these drug guys. I'm in trouble now, people. Don't use drugs. Drugs are bad. Drugs are bad. Drugs are bad. They are fucking with my shit right now, that's for sure. I don't see the point in the little radar at the top either. Busted you shot you, shot you, dog, do one, oh come on dog, the good thing is if you do get close enough to them and you can sort of hover about the body long enough you will arrest them basically, <gasps> crack store, crack stop, I'm going to the crack stop, crack stop baby, 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 is it baby china or something on it, crack stop, I remember this from the arcade game as well actually, oh my god they're sounding, Sending the dogs after me on mass, and I remember being able to. Uh, I was pressing the wrong button. Blow up their drug things. Oh, you can do it on this as well. Nice. It's very uh, highly accurate compared to the arcade game. Oh no, I'm gonna die. Shit. Where's the fire button gone? Come on, come on, walk, walk. Oh, I think we'll leave it there, guys, because. Yep, I've still got several continues left. But that was looking at an arc. Classic arcade game for the ZX Spectrum. My thoughts. It's not too bad. It's quite um it's quite a decent effort or quite a decent port of the arcade game. Um quite playable and uh, I do quite like it. But that's it guys. It's obviously wanting to load there. As always, from me, thank you much for watching. Please feel free to like, comment, subscribe, and I will catch you next time. Do you have a monkey in your pants?